Welcome back to the Yes Longevity Podcast, where we give you insight on how to get fit, feel younger, and live better. I am Chris Board, owner of Yes Fitness, and I appreciate you taking the time to listen to what I have today. say today. We'll talk a little bit more nutrition, but before I get started, I have a little bit of housekeeping to go over with you. There is still time to jump on board with our COVID cleanup challenge. Again, what are we trying to do? We're trying to clean up the consequences of the COVID pandemic, being locked down so we get no exercise or little exercise. Sure, we're outside walking, but exercise walking really just is not enough. Two, because of all the stress of not knowing employment situations and health issues, we've gained some weight because we've binge eating just senselessly watching Netflix all day long and just we've gotten into our bad habits again we need to get out of those habits so the COVID consequences we call them and we've started a COVID cleanup challenge you'd have to jump on board this week because it is a challenge and it did start this week and it's only lasting six weeks long and that's week six weeks time we are going to be able to get everybody back on track transform their bodies and get back going in the right direction and one lucky participant will have the opportunity to win a free membership, year membership to Yes Fitness, and we have some cash prizes as well. So if you're interested in that, quick, jump on the phone, give us a call, 860-673-4293. I almost gave out my cell phone number. 860-673-4293. I don't need anybody to call my cell phone. We'll stop in to see us, email us, message us on Facebook, whatever it takes. But now is the time. Don't wait any longer. Before you know it, it's going to be the holidays, and you're going to put even more weight on. You're going to feel worse about yourself. You're not going to feel good. We're going to hit 2021, and hopefully we hit 2021 running, but who knows with this pandemic, right? Who knows what's going to happen? So you need to take care of things now. I understand there's a tremendous amount of stress out there, a lot of uncertainty, but exercise is one of the answers to help fight off the virus and to help you feel better. So give us a call, COVID Cleanup Challenge. Still time to jump on board. So what do we got going on today, okay? So over the weekend, I was in conversation with a few of my friends, okay? And as usual, the topic of nutrition came up. It comes up often. It's one of the main things people talk about all the time. What to eat, what not to eat, things like that, right? And I'm pretty sure the people that I was talking to want to eat healthy. What I found that they're reaching for products with misleading labels. Labels are tremendously difficult to read. And I think I might do a podcast on how to read labels. I was, when I put this podcast together, I thought about it and I said, you know what, I really need to take some time and put together a podcast on labels because labels are very misleading and you need to understand them to be able to know if you're eating the correct foods or not. So believe it or not, foods that are labeled fat-free or fruit-based aren't necessarily the healthiest of foods. Now, over the past few years, I believe that consumers have become more health-oriented and more health-conscious when it comes to their foods. But as a result, companies have begun to stockpile shelves with low-fat foods in an effort to attract more healthy, conscious audience, right? They want to get that health-conscious person eating these foods. Before long, these foods become some of their favorites, and now they're in the regular part of their diet. They're featured in their diet all the time, and we need to realize and identify what those foods are and let's try, let's try to get them out of the diet. But however, just because some foods appear healthy doesn't mean that they are. In fact, most of the time, a lot, a lot of these kinds of foods have the same nutritional value as junk food. So if you're serious about consuming more foods with nutrition value, then you need to steer clear of these nine healthy foods, okay? I got nine foods that are sometimes thought of as being healthy, but they're actually unhealthy. So we're gonna start off with number one, which is low fat and fat free foods. Low fat, fat free. We see it all the time on the product labels, right? When it comes to the world of food, fat always seems to be the dirtiest word in nutrition. Unfortunately, Fat in food is regularly vilified. This has resulted in a rapid growth of fat-free foods and low-fat products, right? You see it all the time. And as a result, manufacturers have begun removing fat from their food products. However, there's a catch to this. Fat 
actually helps add flavor to the food. Removing the fat results in the food not tasting as good. They're just not as tasty. So thus, in an effort to address this issue of taste, manufacturers turn to adding sugars. So for example, they took fat out of peanut butter, all they did was add sugar to it. So it's fat free or low fat, but now they've put sugar into it. In fact, research published in the journal Nutrition and Diabetes found that low fat, fat free foods can contain as much as 10% more calories and 40% more sugar. Now, unfortunately, these added sugars have been linked to increased risks in diabetes, uh, metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, things that none of us want to get, right? And things that we can prevent from happening and getting if we have the right lifestyle. Sugar is linked to these, increasing the risk for these. So we don't want the added, added sugar in our diet. It's important to remember that your body needs fat. Fat not only provides energy, but it also plays a role in the absorption of vitamins and minerals. So blood clotting, and it's also important for muscle movement and things like that. So the preferred thing would be to consume good fats. We talk about good fats all the time. And these good fats are found in avocados, olive oil, nuts, seeds, things like that. The only real fats you should be avoiding are bad fats. What are the bad fats? Those are the trans fats. We're often listed as hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oils, right? Which are found in mostly baked goods as well as fast food. So we want to stay away from those bad fats. We talk about it all the time. So low fat, non-fat does not necessarily mean that it is good for you. Salad dressing is number two salad dressing. So salad are a healthy choice, right? It's a nutrition meal, it's a nutrition party meal, yet drizzling salad dressing all over the top may not be the best way to go. Yes, salad dressing helps to add to the flavor, but it can also ruin the nutritional value of that salad, of all those nutrients that the salad provides that you're looking to get. The dressing can mess that all up for you. Store, store, store bought salad dressings are often rich and added in unhealthy ingredients like sugar again, vegetable oils and trans fats. These are also, this also is included in the low fat dressings, which are often loaded with added sugar and salt. Just because it says low fat again doesn't mean that it's good for you. If you really want to add some flavor to your salad, just some extra virgin olive oil, maybe some raw apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar or some lemon juice on it. It'll be much more healthy, it'll still be tasty, and you'll be going in the right direction. Cleaning up your nutrition a little bit. So number three are fruit juices. And I have a tendency to do this myself because I enjoy a glass of orange juice. Yes, fruit juices are made from fruit. However, fruit juices don't necessarily contain real food. In fact, they rarely do. So according to findings in the Lancet Journal Diabetes and Endocrinology, Fruit juices contain similar amounts of sugar as a soft drink. Similar amounts, uh, might as well be drinking a glass of Coke in the morning, right? What's more, some of these juices don't even contain actual fruit. Just additives provide the taste of fruit. Essentially, fruit juices provide some of the nutrients. Pardon me. Essentially, I said that wrong. Fruit juices provide none of the nutrients that you get from eating a real piece of fruit. So instead, they provide you with a serving of sugar and just lousy calories. It'd be better time spent if you just peel that darn orange in the morning and then having a sip of orange juice. And that's something I need to probably do myself. So there, you see, there's some things that I can clean up in my nutrition as well. Number four, margarine. We've gone back and forth about margarine over the years, but butter is a dairy product made from milk or cream. And it's also quite high in saturated fat, the fats that we don't want to take in. And as a result, its saturated fat content, a lot of health experts turn to promoting margarine, which is oil-based product that's made, it's made from vegetable oil and water. And that would seem to be of the healthier option. But however, it's made from vegetable oil, so how much healthier could it be? In fact, a study published in the journal Epidemiology revealed that people who replace butter with margarine 
face a higher risk of dying from heart disease. Well, I'm going to say that again because this is super important. We don't want to die from heart disease. In epidemiology, the study revealed that people who replaced butter with margarine faced a higher risk of dying with heart, of heart disease, from heart disease. So stay away from margarine, right? Margarine should not, own, should not be part of your grocery list. Yeah, butter is rich in saturated fat, but it just needs to be enjoyed in smaller portions and not all the time. And if you want to have butter, maybe you can try to get some grass-fed butter, something like that. But you can, I would much rather see you having a little bit of butter than, eat, than eating a margarine, having margarine in your diet. So the fifth one is, and this is a hot one, it's been hot for a couple of years now, gluten-free products. You know, hey, listen, right here, right now, gluten is not your enemy, okay? It is not your enemy. There is no reason as to why you should avoid trying to eat gluten unless you have an intolerance or you're battling celiac disease. It's the only reason why you should be trying to be gluten-free. However, as with a number of food trends, food manufacturers have jumped on the gluten-free bandwagon and introduced all sorts of gluten-free products to the market, aiming at the consumers who truly believe that gluten-free products are healthier. This couldn't be further from the truth. Yeah, if you're gluten intolerant, you need to eat that. But at the end of the day, gluten-free foods are still highly processed. And the one fact about processed foods is that they are rich in sugar. And yet they're low in nutrients. In fact, a lot of gluten-free foods use refined sugars to replace the wheat flour. And these starches do nothing more than spike your blood sugar levels and next thing you know, you're looking for more. If you're battling with an intolerance to gluten, then the best way to go gluten-free would be to avoid gluten-free processed foods. This would be the best way, when you can, and increase your intake of naturally gluten-free foods and vegetables. A challenge if you have to be gluten-free. There are more and more products out there, but the processed foods are not the way to go. And number six, pretzels. Yeah, pretzels. I can't remember the last time I had a pretzel, but yeah, pretzels. They are often the go-to snack, especially at the office. And they think that they're much healthier than chips, right? But wrong, they really aren't. Pretzels provide zero nutritional value. And they're simply high in calories, salt, as well as white flour, which serves to spike our blood sugar again, increase your risk for insulin resistance, and cause you to want to eat more, actually. You have one pretzel. How hard is it to eat one pretzel, two pretzels? No, you have a handful of pretzels, right? If you're craving something salty as a snack, nothing beats nuts as the ultimate snack food. I have nuts every single day. They're rich in omega-3 fatty acids, as well as essential nutrients that can help you stay healthy and help you live longer. Yes. You have to worry about nuts as far as caloric intake, and it could be a lot of nuts. I mean, you, I mean, if you eat a lot of nuts, you can take in a lot of calories. They're very calorie-dense food, nuts are. So eat them slowly, one at a time, savor them. Don't take a second nut until your mouth is empty. Do some things like that, but grab for the, go for those nuts before you start going for the pretzels. And number seven on the list is veggie chips. Just because they're made from a vegetable doesn't mean it's healthy, right? Veggie chips are, in fact, vegetables that have been cut down and heavily layered in oil, salt, salt, artificial colors and flavorings, all of which provide the illusion of a healthy veggie chips. In reality, the process that veggie chips go through removes all the essential nutrients and leaves an unhealthy snack. Now, we're going to eventually do more harm than good. So stay away from those veggie chips. If you're really craving vegetables, it's better to eat them raw. Grab some raw vegetables, maybe dip them in a little bit of hummus, maybe dip them in a little bit of yogurt, something like that, and you have a perfect snack, healthy snack, and it's gonna fill you up. It's gonna taste good too. Number eight is granola products. Yes, granola is made from rolled oats and honey, which helps to provide the body with a healthy dose of essential nutrients, such as fiber. Fiber is very important, right? Should be taking somewhere 25 grams of fiber a day. However, this doesn't mean that granola products are what your body actually needs. Unfortunately, a lot of granola products found on the shelves at the stores are packed with sugar again, sugar, 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 extra calories, salt, and other not so healthy 
ingredients. At the end of the day, if you really want to enjoy the serving granola, it's better that you create your own homemade granola. It's not that difficult to do. Typically, you can make things at home and taste just as good and be just and be healthy. And finally, diet sodas. If, if you don't know by now that diet soda is not good for you, then I don't know. But you may think it's better than drinking real soda, right? But diet sodas are just as bad as regular sodas. This is because diet sodas are ridiculously rich in artificial sweeteners, preservatives, and artificial flavors. What's more is diet sodas have been found to increase one's risk for obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. You've got to stay away from this stuff. These diseases are lifestyle diseases, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Stay away from the diet sodas, right? They provide no nutritional value. So protect your health and cut back on the consumption of diet sodas. So there we have it. Those are the nine foods that we think might be healthy, but they're really not. If you really want to be on top of healthy foods that you consume, it's important not to be tricked by the labels. It's important not to be tricked by the labels. And they, pro they proclaim that they're healthy, but they really aren't. You have to get into the habit of reading and understanding the ingredients list. Additionally, you also need to do your best to choose whole foods whenever possible, certainly over fried fruits and processed foods. Those whole foods, eating foods at their most natural state, is the best way to go. So those are those nine things for you. I hope they help you. Maybe one or two things you can make a little switch in your nutrition and your diet right now is going to help you be a little bit healthier, may even help you lose some weight, and it certainly is going to give you the opportunity to possibly live a little bit longer life. So you can look for more tips from us next week on how to get fit, feel younger, live better. For me, Chris Border, owner of Yes Fitness, from right down here at Yes Fitness. I hope you guys have a great week, and I uh, look forward to talking to you again. Thanks.